it's a pleasure to talk to such a large audience and I try to be very clear. Uh, so the title of my talk is Regular Foliations on Rationally Connect Manifolds. And this is a very nice application of the MMP as presented by uh, Spicer and Cassini in their talks. So what, what the problem is? Uh, the problem is of classifying regular foliations on rationally connected for, uh, manifolds, sorry for the typo. Uh, so what, what are rationally connected manifolds? They are manifolds for which any two points can be connected by a rational curve. And the, what we expect for this is that all foliations are uh, algebraically integrable. In other words, the leaves are algebraic varieties. Uh, so what do we know? What is already known for this problem? If X has dimension two, this was proved by Brunella in a paper in 1997. So a rationally connected manifold of dimension two is a rational surface. And he proved that in this case, X is a P1 bundle over P1, and F is the foliation induced by the projection, the projection from X to P1. Uh, so you see in particular, it tells more than just the foliation is algebraically integral. It tells the leaves are P1. And the other no case, another case, is when X is a final manifold. So this works for any dimension in F any rank. Uh, so what do I so this is a result by Druel in 2017, uh, which says that if X is a fundamental foot in F a regular foliation, then F is algebraically integrable. So here we don't have uh, a description of the leaves. We don't know if they are rationally connected, but we expect it to be. So in my talk, I consider the problem for dimension three foliage dimension three manifolds and co-dimension co one foliations. Uh, so the theorem I okay so do I always saying that the, the leaves are fun. Sorry for missing that. So in in the well's result we know that the leaves are fun of manifolds. Sorry for that. Okay, so in my talk, I will prove that if X is a rationally connected trifold and F a co-dimension one regular foliation on X, with K F not so defective, then F is algebraically integral with rational leaves. So, as we remember, this is expected for any F, but I, I still didn't manage to show in general. So I'll just show the easy case that is when KF is negative in some way. So how do you show this? What's the idea? Uh, first, we can use the results by Cassini, Spicer, 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 Val, and run a uh, foliated MMP. Uh, so there's a, we get a X prime, F prime with this MMP. And the trick, uh, so since KF is not safe, X prime is a more fiber space. If 
relation to the canonical bound of the foliage. And the trick is to show that X prime and F prime uh, remain regular. So X and this is the step one of the proof. Show the X prime and F prime are regular. So as you may know, when you run a min the minimum model program, usually the end result is singular. Although you have mild singularities, it's singular. So in this case, the foliation will be regular in X prime as well. The step two is to show that X prime is moreover a more fiber space in the classical sense. In other words, the fibers are funnel manifolds. The general fiber is funnel manifold. And the fibers are tangent to the uh, transformed foliation, F prime. And the final step is to show that in this case, when X prime is a more fiber space, uh, since we have a classification of the threefold two dimensional more fiber space, we show that in each case of this classification, uh, the foliation F prime, since the, the fibers of the more fiber space are tangent and F prime is regular, uh, will be algebraically integrable with rational limits. So as you see, we use Morris more classification of extremal threefold contractions. So let me remind you of this classification. Uh, so let X be a non-singular projected three-foot over C, and R an extremal KX negative ray. So there's a, a contraction associated to R, which contract only curves whose class lie in R. So Morris theorem says that phi is either a divisor contraction or a more fiber space. So there are no flips in this case because X is regular. And moreover, we have a classification of these divisor contractions in more fiber space. So first I'll show you the divisor contractions. Uh, so let D be the exceptional divisor of this divisor contraction. So either phi of D is a curve as a non-singular curve and Y is a non is non a non-singular variety. And in this case, phi is a is the blow up of this non-singular curve. Or uh, phi the image of D is a point, Y is no singular, D is P2, and the normal bundle of D is O minus 1. The other case, again a point, D is P1 times P1, and O, and the normal bundle has by degree minus 1, minus 1. Again a point, and D is a quadric cone P3, so it's singular in this case, and OD is O minus 1. Okay. In the final case, uh, the image is a point, this P2, and the normal bundle minus 2. So you see here, the normal bundle is always negative. We're going to use that. And I, I would like to remark that in case 3, 4, and 5, Y can be singular. So this is a case we want to exclude in our proof. This case is three, four, and five. We are going to actually exclude two, three, four, and five. So the only case that happens when there's a foliation on X, which is regular, is case one. And now the case is the case of more fiber space. Uh, so there are three cases. So if phi is a more fiber space, y is non-singular, 
and there are three cases, either dimension of y is two, one, or zero. If dimension of y is two, phi is a conic bundle, fibers are conics, which can be singular. If dimension of y is one, phi is a dual piece of vibration, the fibers are dual piece of surface. And if dimension of y is zero, x is a funnel manifold. So this is a main ingredient in our proof. So now let's go to the proof. So an uh, important tool from foliation theory uh, I use is the bot bots connection. So uh, what is this connection? Let X be a complex manifold in F equal dimension Q regular foliation X. So I can define a connection on the normal bundle of F, uh, TF connection. So I, I differentiate vectors on NF along vectors on TF. And it's defined by this formula I wrote. So U is the vector on NF, and V is a vector on TF, and this is, this is a classical result, classical tool I use. So this implies in particular that if Z is a submanifold which is tangent to F, so if this happens, if I restrict the normal bundle to Z, this connection will be a, a holomorphic connection on this normal, normal bundle restricted to Z. So as you know, if a normal bundle has a, a holomorphic connection, all its churn classes are zero. So this is the, the conclusion. And I, I'm going to use the C1 of this normal bundle, which is you. So let's, let's, let's begin the proof. The step one is to show that uh, X prime and F prime are regular. So let's run the MMP. We know we can, we can do that. A first remark is that when we run the MMP, we only contract curves which are tangent to the foliage. So this was proved by Spicer in his paper. So suppose R is a negative ray. If C is a curve whose class line R, then C is tangent to F. So this implies that what, what I just said. In particular, by bots connection, uh, we have this corollary. If phi is a KF contraction, then phi is a KX contraction. The proof is as follows. By, by Spicer's lemma, if C, the class of C is in R, C is tangent to F. By Bot's connection, the first chain class of the normal bundle of the foliation restrict to C is zero. This intersection, it's this intersection. And by this fundamental equality for foliations, the canonical bundle of X equal to the canonical bundle of F minus the normal bundle, we conclude that the intersection of the canonical bundle of Kx with C is equal to this intersection of the canonical bundle of defoliation with C. And this shows the corollary. In particular, this shows the, the step two, because in step two, we had to show that uh, the, the more fiber space we obtain is actually a uh, classical more fiber space and the fibers are tangent to the foliage. 
in this corollary shows exactly that. Well, I should improve step one. I should put step one as step two. But let's show that uh, X prime and F prime are right. So let X prime and F prime be the be an inverse of the MMP. So this lemma shows that will show that X prime and F prime is right. So let phi be a divisor contraction associated to uh, external ray. Then phi is the blow up of a smooth curve. So the case one in more uh, classification and the push forward of the foliation is regular. So as you can see, this shows that after finite number of blow ups of uh, divisor contractions, the end result will be regular. So how do you prove this? The first thing I show is that the divisor, the divisor which is contracted is not tangent to the foliation. How do we show this? Let's suppose it's tangent. Then by Bott's connection, the normal bundle restricts to this divisor is zero. And since it's tangent, this normal bundle, the normal bundle of this divisor is also the normal bundle of the foliation restricted to this divisor and this will be uh, numerically zero. But we saw that in Morse classification, this normal bundle of the divisor is always negative. So this is a contradiction. Uh, if uh, the if a phi contracts T to a point, then T is tangent to F because D is covered by curves which are tangent to F by Spicer's name. And we see, we saw in clean that this does not happen. In particular, uh, phi is the blow up of a smooth curve, Y is smooth, and D is not tangent to F. So let's note D by the push forward of F. By the corollary, this we have this intersection of the normal bundle with C0 for every contracted curve. And this implies that the normal bundle of F is the push, or this the pullback of the normal bundle of G. Uh, so this will imply that if there is a local form defining G, its pullback will be a local form defining F. In particular, you cannot have zeros of codimension uh, at least two because F is regular. So this will imply that G is regular as we claimed. So now, uh, by step one, X prime and F prime are regular. Then if you went with X prime and F prime, and as I said, this is X prime and F prime is a more every space. By step two, which is which follows from Spicer's lemma, this is a more every space in the classical sense with fiber extension to F prime. So we just need to show that. Uh, so I just need to show this to finish the proof. If phi is a more fiber space in the classical sense with fiber extension to the foliation, then F is algebraically integrable with rational leaves. But now the proof follows easily. So let me show you. Uh, we have three cases for phi conic bundles, the peso vibrations, and funnel manifolds. Case one conic bundle. Uh, so since the fibers are tangent to the foliation, uh, the foliation F is a pullback of a foliation by curves on Y. Uh, since F is regular, G has to be regular, is the argument of local sections. And since X is rationally connected, Y is rational. So by Brunella's theorem, G is a foliation by rational curves. So F is the pullback 
of a foliation by rational curves. And the fibers are rational curves. So this implies that F is rational integral, uh, is algebraically integrable with rational leaves. So case two, uh, phi is a del peso vibration whose fibers are tangent to the foliation. So clearly the foliation is this del peso vibration. In case three is impossible because there is only one fiber and this fiber should be tangent to the foliation. But the foliation has rank two. So this finishes the proof and this shows my theorem. So the reference, my Brunel's paper, which proves the for, K, for dimension two, Cassini and Spicer, uh, which shows uh, some steps of the MMP, shows the existence of flips. Duel, which shows the conjecture for funnel manifolds. Mode is for the classification. Spicer, uh, which was the first paper uh, for foliated MMP. And Spicer is found shows uh, termination of flips. Thank you. Thank you very much, João, for this nice talk. Uh, any comments or questions? Okay. Uh, yeah, one, João Paulo. What about the yes. rank one case? Uh, and when my, again? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I still don't know in general, but in my in this case it's very easy. Yeah. The case when KF is not self follows from the of equilibrium, but in general it still didn't work out. What if the uh the foliation isn't smooth but it has like terminal singularities or something or could you allow the underlying space to be mildly singular and get a good result? Uh, maybe, but the problem is I don't know if I can still use bots connection for singular foliations in the same way I used in my proof. I see, I see, yeah. And what do you know about the other the other case? Can you settle the question for intermediate uh, numerical quadratic dimension or? No, I, I don't know. I, I still no. If K, KF is safe, I don't know how to prove. 